Oh, come on, Lego. You only make videos about Cole Caulfield when it's convenient for you. Only when you're able to get views because you want to maximize your money on this platform. And, you know, I'm going to go out there and say, yeah, like, that's kind of what somebody in the YouTube sphere kind of has to do to make a living. But either way... Just because we're going out there and making another Cole Caulfield video does not mean this one is super clickbaity and super, you know, view hoary and all that stuff. What we're talking about here is so mind-bogglingly great that I feel like it's only appropriate to go out there and chronicle what's going on every step of the way. Because when it comes to the Montreal Canadiens and when it comes to Cole Caulfield, boy oh boy did Martin St. Louis have himself a plan. Then honestly, like, looking at it now in hindsight, it looks like a very, very fantastic plan, and probably what the Canadians should have been doing this entire time under Dominic Ducharme, except that's not what happened. They played so many games under Ducharme, now he is gone. And so, when you take a look at how the Montreal Canadiens have been playing as of late, they won their first two-game streak this season with wins over St. Louis and New York. You also had yourselves Toronto yesterday, 5-2. The first three-game winning streak the Habs have had this entire season after going however many games they went without a gosh darn win in general. This team sucked. And a lot of people would go out there and say, okay, is it really like the team? Is it because Marc Bergevin assembled a lineup of players that are inferior to other NHL squads? Is it the strategies? Is it the way these guys are playing? Because we have talented players on the roster, right? There are some pretty good skill guys and guys who can actually score that are not scoring anymore. So what gives? Under Martin St. Louis, though, there have been so many good things happening that I just feel like I have to sit back, take a view as to what's going on, and be like, yeah, let's make a video about this. And so today we're talking about Cole Caulfield because, yes, the Montreal Canadiens' number one rookie prospect that they have had in a very long time has struggled this season. You take a look at everything he did under Ducharme, and it's difficult to go out there and try to justify just how he was being used and just how Ducharme had this guy playing. And I think those are two very different things because when you take a look at how a player is used, that to me is a coach going out there and saying, okay, you're going to be played X minutes a night, you're going out there on this line, you're going out there in these situations, you're only getting defensive zone starts, you're only getting power play time or whatever. A coach's usage of a player dictates opportunity and it dictates what this guy's going to have access to when it comes to, you know, events on the ice. Also, how a coach tells a player to play is pretty self-explanatory. It's like, okay, stay in the system, go down along the boards and then cut wide and then do this. Don't cut down the middle and then go out to the side because that's not the way we want you to play. We want you to play a very specific style. And that was pretty much the big thing that Dominic Ducharme went out there and instilled in a lot of this lineup. And as Martin St. Louis has come in and made this Canadiens team his new home, oh boy, have the results been great. Cole Caulfield, in six games for the Montreal Canadiens under Martin St. Louis, has eight total points. And if you do the math on that, okay... Caulfield right now, 16 points, 36 total games played. He's projected for a 30-point season over 67 total games. Let's do the math instead without those 8 points in 6 games. All right. Caulfield, last time, was at 30 games played and 8 total points. Do the math on this season. 30 divided by 8, or excuse me, the other way around. 8 divided by 30 multiplied out by 67. He would have been on pace for 18 total points. Whereas now, with his current pace, including the St. Louis games, he is on pace for 12 more. And just watching the Montreal Canadiens go out there and play, just watching Cole Caulfield go out there and actually get some offensive flexibility, you can see why he's going out there and producing a lot more. The two-goal game against St. Louis, the three-point night yesterday against the Toronto Maple Leafs, just seeing Cole Caulfield and Josh Anderson going out there together now, they're making plays that a lot of Canadians fans watch, and they say, okay, that was great, but where the hell was that the first however many games of the year? What happened? Where were these offensive rushes, where were these odd man rushes, and where were these one-timer snipes cross-crease 
on the rush. Anderson, down the right wing, sends it across to Caulfield, who one-times it in, and he goes far side too. How beautiful is that? Let's go over onto Reddit, onto the Canadian sub, and take a look at just what it is Marty St. Louis is doing that is making the Canadians work. Can someone who really understands systems versus concepts explain the real difference and change between Dom and Marty St. Louis? Asks whole done popular opinion. I watch hockey, I play casually, but I don't understand what exactly Dom was trying to do that made us so bad, and also what makes us look so much better under MSL. Darth Lord Donkey goes out there and he says this, The biggest difference I've noticed is with wingers and defensemen, under Ducharme it seemed like they were taught to maintain solid positioning and always be available for help. The problem is it neutralized one of Montreal's biggest strengths, which is speed from the wings, and it was forcing the Canadians to play a dump and chase style of game. This relied on puck possession time, and the problem is the Habs were poor at transitioning the puck and rarely got offensive time. The defenders always seemed hesitant to join the offensive play as they were seemingly taught to protect the boards, which is conventional for a team that emphasizes puck possession, which Ducharme seemingly wanted. Under Martin St. Louis, he has essentially loosened the structure, and you've seen some wingers cheating a bit in the defensive zone, which has created more odd man rushes, but also greatly improved the neutral zone transition game. More defensemen have been engaged within the offensive zone too, and you'll notice Kulak, Petrie, and Weidman especially being involved within the play. Saying that they are playing more free is a simple way of stating it, but I think the biggest improvement has to be allowing the wingers to react naturally and not worry about maintaining structure as a five-man unit, as on this team, it's clear that the wingers need more freedom to improve the transition game. Here's the real kicker, though. An underrated part of the Habs' problem this year is losing guys like KK, Deneau, and Tatar, who were all great in transition. They were able to help carry the puck into the offensive zone, and they made the old system work better. But without them... The Canadians under Ducharme struggled to ever get the puck and maintain possession and create scoring chances. The easiest way to overcome this is by doing what St. Louis has done, and that's easing off the system entirely and relying on natural instincts. Hey, is that not exactly what the heck Martin St. Louis said when he got here? This is exactly what he said he wanted to do. Screw the system, bro. Allow good players to go out there and make good reads. Don't tell them, hey, stop skating up the boards. Be available at the blue line. Be a passing option right here for the defenseman. No. Go up, because when that other guy on the other side gets the pass, he can spring you up for a breakaway. Martin St. Louis allows his players to do reads, and that right there is exactly what he set out to do. And my gosh, ever since that little pep talk, that moment where Martin St. Louis was leaning over Caulfield's shoulder and like whispering into his ear on the bench, yeah, I think that's kind of when everything broke open for Caulfield and the floodgates started pouring. Eight points, six games played, he scored more in this most recent stint than he has in any other part of the season, and now if you take a look at, like, just everything going on with the scoring race, ay yeah, yeah. here's another post on the Habs subreddit. In six games, Caulfield has climbed from 54th to 14th on the NHL's rookie ladder. Here's what J.P. Nader went out there and said. He says, just for fun, I did the math on the Rocket Leader, and so far, Leon Dreisaitl, with 35 goals in 50 games, is on pace for 57 goals at the end of the year. For Caulfield to get 58 goals, he would need to score 52 more goals in the next 31 games for an average of 1.66 goals per game. Okay, that's probably not going to happen. But, speaking of the rookie point leader, because let's be real, the call the race is over at this point with Sider winning it, the current leader is Raymond with 39 points, on pace for 62.7 points at the end of the year. In order for Caulfield to beat that, he would need 47 more points in the remaining amount of games, which would be a pace of 1.516 points per game until the end of the season. Now, since the start of St. Louis' tenure, he has a 1.33 points per game, which is apparently not enough to reach Lucas Raymond still, according to Raymond's current point pace. So, even though Caulfield might not actually get any awards, even though he might actually have been robbed of a Calder by Dominic Ducharme, it's still wonderful to see just how Martin St. Louis is having this guy play. And I think everybody out there can understand that that is the status quo now in Montreal. It's no more doom and gloom. Sure, you guys kind of want to lose more because you want a draft pick and you want a great player at the top of the 2022 selection, but 
you know, whether it's first, second, third, you're probably going to get a great player. You can go ahead and watch all the Why I Want videos if you want to see these scoops on them. But talk to me in the comments, what do you think about Cole Caulfield and how he has been playing under Dominic Ducharme, or excuse me, not Dominic Ducharme, my gosh, why did I say that? MSL, Martin St. Louis, I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 99, and bye.